Ask Reddit by what at work. What's the biggest lie you've fallen for? Once as a child they told me that in GTA Vice City there is a secret code for winter to appear, and I even wrote it on a piece of paper, and for a long time I thought that I was simply entering the cheat code incorrectly. Who knows how many hours I have put looking for the Bigfoot in the San Andreas woods. I'm not having an affair, I think I'm asexual. Comma my ex-wife who certainly was having an affair, and not in the slightest bit asexual. Don't take it out on yourself. Stay strong. A disloyal person is disloyal to certainly everything and everyone. If you tell me the truth I won't get mad. This is one of the hardest things to get right, as a parent. My wife and I have a standing rule with our kids if you tell us the truth. We're not allowed to tell them off not just that we won't, we're not allowed. There have been numerous occasions where one of our kids will run to us and tell us they just punched the other one, drew on a wall, purposefully broke something etc etc. Sometimes I have to take 5 seconds before responding, but the answer is always well done for telling me the truth, now you won't get told off and then we talk about why the thing was wrong. Very very difficult but I do think it's effective. We value you as our employee and the people working here are most important to us. Here at, company, our team is like a family. I don't want to know what management who says this shit does to their actual families on the daily if this is true, in their minds. When I was a kid, my siblings convinced me that Medusa lived in our attic. Medusa of all people. That's funny, but probably not the horrible nightmares. Ex-wife telling me how disgusting cheetahs are and how they are succumb of the earth. Guess why I am divorced. There must be some playbook on this that we just don't know about. An ex of mine pretty much did the same thing. The first few weeks of our relationship she told me about how several of her exes cheated on her. Gave me this whole thing about how cheetahs are scum. I'd never do that to someone, I'd just leave them if it was over 5 years later, yeah, she cheats on me. I will never lie to you ever again. I knew that was a lie but I chose to fall for it. Damn self blame goes hard now. It's called hope. Stay strong warrior. I got told I love you by a girl I had a crush on once but apparently she loved everyone else too. I mean, if she really did love everyone, then it probably wasn't really a lie. Click this link for free robux. I understand that must frustrate you, being lied to. I can send you a link to talk to hot singles in your area. That might brighten your mood. That getting a masters in a STEM field would get me a great salary job. That going to college would guarantee a good job. You're gonna scare the fish away shut up. That's one of the final chapters of unlocking manhood. When you realize that grandpa wanted you to keep your mouth shut so he could enjoy some goddamn peace and quiet for once. That each second between lightning and thunder is a mile. It was in my third year of my physics degree before I learned my entire life was a lie. It's 5 seconds per mile BTW. Tell me the truth, I thought it was that. That a fat guy in a red suit traveled the entire world in one night in a sleigh pulled by magic flying reindeer delivering presents to all the good kids. But only the good kids, bad kids can get bent. And he knows who is who because he's always watching. Oh really? You think so? Explain then how the milk and cookies I left out this year vanished Christmas morning. Can't do it, can you? Game set 1-0. Don't remember the biggest lie, but my dad has a bald spot and when I was a kid he told me and my siblings that he got it from going to bed while chewing gum and they had to cut it out the next day. You bet your ass none of us ever went to bed with gum after that. Great parenting hack. That white people had white poops. Nope the liars people and the media telling you we don't. 
It comes out looking like seagull shit. Honest. You can trust me. I convinced my sister that the word Mormon was a very bad word. I was 11. I did something similar. My much younger brother heard that there was an n-word and kept pestering me to tell him what it was. Being that I was around 18 and not equipped to teach my 7 year old brother about racism and why it's awful. I eventually told him it was nicotine and he bought it for a few years. He's just a friend. It doesn't mean anything. Double quote. I've had this happen to me and many of my friends there was always that one he's just a friend. He's like a brother to me. He's gay it's so cringe. Just be an adult and tell me you're fucking so I can kick you out and move on with my damn life. Decaf removed caffeine from my body. Eater, you all I know what it is. I believed decaf was a way to remove caffeine from the human body. Believed. Well, I guess it's kind of true in that consuming more liquids will cause your body to expel the caffeine faster if you already consumed some. But water would work just as well better. A couple of years ago, I dated a girl who supposedly had a fetish. She asked to pee on me during sex. I really didn't want to, but I loved her so much that I agreed every time. But one day during a quarrel I found out the truth. She did it because I was disgusting to her and she wanted to humiliate me like that. Then why tf is she having sex with you and dating you? Is she dumb? I'm sure everyone knows the answer to that. That focusing on education, rather than on developing social skills and meaningful connections, will be enough to lead a fulfilling and prosperous life. Thanks mom, you had the best intentions. Biggest lies that a girl in middle school loves you. The even bigger lies are the ones your hormones tell you. No I won't break up with you I love you proceeded to get cheated on and dumped. He's just a guy I met in class. Stop being paranoid. A few weeks later his dick was in her mouth. I love you. We'll be together forever and nothing will change that. Apparently another man's penis changed that. I do. She didn't. If you eat fries you get square nipples. That's why I only eat curly fries. <laughs>